Hello there, I am Giant Grodel with more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Secret Cards for the Game Boy Advance. In the last part, we teamed up with Yu-Gi. Well, we just at the end of the last part, but we took on the rest of the ghouls. Oh no, I, I think we um beat Keith. I think his name is. He was wearing an American flag bandana. So yeah, and then we still have to find you know where Joey and Taya Gardner went. So I think what we actually want to do is go over to um. Where Mokuba was, and I think that was over here. Yeah, we can. Okay, Yugi won't follow me anymore. Okay, but we can talk to this guy. You again? What do you want? What your friends were abducted by the ghouls? Hmm. Mister Kaiba did, did seem to be concerned about them. He's he considered the ghouls to be a nuisance, but I can reveal he is whereabouts. But I can't reveal his whereabouts to you. Mr. Mokuba, Kuba Kaiba's, um, should know, um, he, he should know where his brother, Mr. Sato, would be. That's all I can tell you. That's enough. Get going. Okay, so they hear that chime so we can actually go back in here. And, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh's actually following us. Um, he's not here, though. This is where the dueling simulator is, but he's not here. So, to just tell you where he is, he's at the building. So, you have to go to the building, basically. Which is, we have to go this way, of course. The building. Or building, I should say. Oh, it's in the cutscene. Mokuba, you shall be the baits to draw Seto Kaiba. Now come with us. Stop it, you creeps. M my big brother's not going to stand for this. Yeah. And we aren't either. Mokuba. Yugi Moto, who are you? There are Yugi and Steven. Of course, the tall one knows this. <laughs> you owe us an apology for our fellow ghouls. Brats like them, we can't deal with them with now. Yeah, well, you're shorter than I am in the game, so ha. Huh. You're a brat, too, <laughs> I guess. You too, you deal with us now. I think that's what he said. The last part. The last word. And we go into the building, but we're transported up to the roof. Yugi, Steven, we will deal with one of you. It doesn't matter who. Choose. Steven, which one will you duel? I'm gonna, it doesn't really matter which one you duel, they have the same decks, but I'm gonna duel Loomis. Ha <laughs> ha, so you, so you to be my opponent. Don't turn, t turn tail and run, brat. Alright, prepare for fall, to, prepare to fall from the roof, that'd be scary actually. Okay, let's just, um, try to beat this guy, that'd be good. Um, rabbit horseman, use his anti, okay. Okay, as a fiend type, do I have scoundrel? Nope, I do not. By Revival Jam. 1200 attack, wow. Whew. I'm gonna chance on that Wicked Worm Beast first. There we go. Hopefully, I didn't make the right choice. Okay, cool. Revival Jam time. And my Dark Energy, nice. Okay, turn end. Another card face down, huh? Okay. Oh, shoot. Well, that's actually at 500 because it's... T Wait. It's defense is 1500, okay. Wait, that doesn't make sense because, like, my attack... Oh, wait, yeah. Wait, I still don't get that because it's t I thought it goes by attack, not defense. Okay, um, what type is it? It's Fiend. I guess I could sacrifice one of my Revival Jams then. For Sky Dragon. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's okay. All monsters on the field will wipe out. Don't have Monster Reborn. Please don't have Monster Reborn. Okay, well, the dragon was disappear. Okay, because uh, he has Monster Reborn and Dark Hole has two cards, as um a ca one card each, I should say. Okay, I'm just gonna attack his life points directly like that. That's all I can really do because I can't sacrifice the summon right now. Word of D, huh? That might work. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, don't pull anything better than Lord of D right now. I 
Okay. Oh, we. Oh, okay, this. Discard this. There we go. Okay, good thing you have put keep on putting things in defense again. Awesome. Mr. Coisman wants to go. Okay, um I really don't need blies right now, so I'm gonna discard that. There we go. Mr. Coisman attack, okay. Another card in defense, huh? Okay. Ooh, do one. Here we go. Okay, that's cool. How many life points does he have left? Hmm. I think I can still beat him in this turn. Let's see, you have 1100 attack, okay. Yeah, that's plenty of. Yeah, I can beat him, yeah. The opponent has off life points. Still victory, yeah. Deck capacity increased by 30. 30,000 domino was obtained. Masked Beast Dust Guard is source obtained. So, this is a really good card. I'm gonna add to my deck eventually. Uh, I can, uh, should have added to my deck soon. But, um, yeah, its type is Fiend, it's Summon is Dark, its cost is 168, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 level monster, I believe, it has 3,300 3, attack, 2,500 2, defense, it's a Dark Summon, a fiendish masked monster that makes prey of human beings, that's scary, the mask is said to show the faces of the people it has eaten, oh, it's really creepy, actually, to be honest, ugh, I am the ultimate assassin, but... What do you think of us now? How could we both lose? Master Merrick Ishtar, please forgive us. Oh, ah, uh, Merrick, strong, so strong. Through the eyes of this school, I've watched you. Now I know how you've made your decks. What happened? Uh, did he personally, per does personality change? Yugi, let me introduce myself. I am Merrick Ishtar. L like you, I own a Millennium item. The Millennium Rod, my Millennium Rod brain, uh, washes those it touches. It makes them my faithful servants. The fates of your friends are in my hands. My next puppet, sh sh uh, my pick, my next puppet show should be quite amusing. Ha 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 ha! Merrick Ishtar, what is he trying to do? Let's go. I don't know. Let's go. You're right. We need to hurry. Merrick Ishtar. Sub objective can wait. We should ask Makuba about Seto Kaiba. Joey and Taya are in mortal danger. And they all just fall. So I can finally show this off. When you press A, there's like this beeping sound. I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah. Makes that sound. And this guy is dead too. Yeah, pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Let's talk to you again. Come on, let's go. And let's get off the roof, too. Yeah, and we can't even check if they're back there if we switch screens again. <laughs> okay, don't expect me to thank you. That's okay, Mokuba. There is something we wanted to ask you. We want to know where your brother Seto is. My big brother? Joey, Will, and Ted Gardner were taken by the ghouls. Your brother Seto should be able to locate Joey. The ghouls, huh? Yugi, helping you doesn't make me happy, but I can't let those creeps get go unpunished. My big brother should be at the art gallery, but I don't know if he'll speak to, with you. Metokuba? Met, oh, Mokuba. Thank you. Okay, Steven, let's go see Seto Kaiba. And then hear that ding, so it's like, obviously... Okay, they're not there on the roof again. See? They're not there. So it's magically they got up and walked away. Um, take the elevator, which floor do you want to go first floor, I guess? Okay, and we're back here. Okay, and we go to the map. Yeah. And next we're going to take on the art museum. So in the next part, I'll be in the art museum, uh, start at the map and go to the art museum, basically. So yeah, this has been done by, um, you get the sick cards for the GBA Let's Play part. In the next part, we'll take on the art museum and hopefully talk to Seto Kaiba and find Joey and Taya. Taya. So this is my Jack Gogan. I'm gonna look them again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys next time. My you get the sick cards for the GBA. Let's play.